All right, so I will close. And another thing that is very important is right click, create stream analysis. And we can plot, for example, property table. Okay. So we have first the stream. Okay, stream number one, stream under investigation. And variable, temperature, mode incremental. And the second variable, pressure, incremental as well. You can set the lower boundary and upper bound. And for both the temperature and pressure, this is the default values. But let's say I want to start from 14.5 PSIA, but I want to increase the upper bound to, for example, 3000 PSIA. Number of increments, I want to make it 50. Okay. And later I will set this one. I will keep this or maybe to 60. Yeah? 260. And I don't need this high temperature. I will decrease to 150 instead. 20 increments. And then from here, we can go to performance. Okay, sorry. This one unknown dependent property. Uh, this is very important. Now we will set the dependent properties, the properties that we want to analyze. In my case, I want to know the density of CO2 as a function of pressure and temperature. So I will click add and then let's find out the density, average liquid density, click OK. And then here we are ready to calculate calculate performance this is the table you can you can copy the table right click and copy and you can also show the plot property average liquid density this is will this will be plotted on y variable and First, the independent variable temperature, and the second one is pressure. View plot, maximize. It's like this. Okay. Based on the this one, the upper and lower bound of pressure, as well as the temperature, starting from 60 to 150. And this is the average liquid density. The value is constant. Okay, but actually this is not the density that I want to look out. So I will change the dependent properties. By the way, why density of CO2 is very important because simulators, especially reservoir simulators, or maybe ball simulation usually give us volumetric rate. Okay, so like MMSCF per day or barrel per day, but in CO2 operation, because we are dealing with gas, all right, gas CO2, we get MMSCF per day or meter cube per day. And we don't know the, the mass or yeah, the mass flow rate. So to bridge between the volumetric to get the mass flow rate, we need density as a function of pressure and time. And yeah, obtaining the information regarding the density correlation as a function of pressure and time is not very easy. Many, many correlations, many empirical correlations. Okay, and you need to rely on equation of state. Okay, equation of state table, something like that. I tried to find density calculators in internet, but it's not easy to find. So I will go to HiSys and I will generate the correlation itself. Okay.
So this is the trick. Isis is very useful to give us the fluid properties as a function of any parameter. So dependent properties, click add. Let's find mass density. Is it the one we are looking for? Mass density, go to performance. All right. So is it the one? And then plots, few plot, beautiful. All right, so this is the mass density 